Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. And so I'm coming to you today with kind of just a fun little, I don't know if I want to call it a tag or not, but um, I was watching Dawn, my good friend, over at Sensible Living with Money Mom, and she did a video on co common items in the household that she does not own. And I thought, I'm going to make a video out of this, but I'm kind of switching it around a little bit. Um, she had done about, I think she did 11 things, but I thought of more things. And so I'm going to share with you some things. Now, if anybody wants to do this video, go ahead and do it. I'm not going to tag anybody. But if you say, hey, I was watching Life with Patty and she did this video on common items in a household and do you own them or not? Um, and you can do it. And if you think of other things that you think are normal that should be in a household, but maybe you don't have or you do have, um, you can switch it up, whatever you want to do. So, the first, there's a lot of things on this list that I do not possess. So <laughs> I must not be up with the times very much, or I must be way behind the times with some of the things that I have. So the first thing um, is, do you own a computer in your home? I know a lot of people do not own a computer in their home, and I know a lot of people that they have three, four, five computers in their home. My coworker, uh, it's her, her husband, their two boys, they have four computers in their house. And that's not including their iPads or their iPhones. That's just their computers. And when I say a computer, I'm not talking a laptop. I'm talking a regular computer. Um, anyways, so I own a laptop. I haven't turned it on in probably two years. <laughs> and um, so... So anyways, I do not own a computer. I own a laptop, haven't turned it on in about two years. Um, my husband and I both have our iPads and we both have our iPhones. Um, sometimes I wish I would have a computer because I could do a lot of uh, uh, stuff with my crafting if I had one. So anyways, do you guys all possess a computer in your home or no? Second thing is, do you have a printer for your computer? Because like I said, I have the laptop, but I have absolutely no printer. And I know if I had a printer, I could um, print out all kinds of things from Pinterest or Etsy or whatever, but I don't have either. So sometimes if I want to print something out, I go to my friend Mary's or um, I do it at work. So just curious, those are two things that I'm wondering do any of you have or do you not have it, okay? The third thing is, do you have a landline phone? We do not. And when I first heard that people were getting rid of their landlines and just going to their cell phones, I thought they were crazy. I was like, how in the world can you really function like that? Well, we have no landline phone now. Um, but because I live so far out in the country, we get really sketchy service on our cell phones. So sometimes you'll be talking to somebody and it drops your call. And so it probably would be better if we did have a landline, but landlines are expensive. You know, now they charge you, I mean, they still charge you for long distance calls for cell phones. It's just one rate, you know, so we do not have a landline phone. Uh, the next one I'm talking about is mostly for crafters, but do you guys all own a Cricut? And a Cricut is a machine that cuts out patterns and words and letters and all kinds of stuff uh, from this Cricut that, I have a Cricut, but it is an old one that still takes the little um, like flash drives that you have to put in it. And so you'd have to buy all the flash drives uh, to put it in there. Now, apparently my coworker that has the four computers in her house, she has a Cricut that she just plugs into her computer or to her phone or her iPad, and she can download all kinds of um, different things that she can print out. She likes to make cards. So I do not, I say I own a Cricut, but I shouldn't even say I own a Cricut because it's in storage because I never use it. Um, and I don't know if I'd want one. I mean, like, who am I kidding? If I had a computer, <laughs> and a printer, I probably would want a Cricut, but um, 
at this time, I don't. That's something that's more for crafters question. Okay. How many of you own dishwashers that you have a dishwasher in your home? I do not have a dishwasher. Haven't had a dishwasher in years. So I've lived 10 years in this house with my husband. We've never had a dishwasher. Uh, before that, I lived for four years in another house that did not have a dishwasher. So for the last 14 years, at least, I have not had a dishwasher. Um, how about a microwave? I do have a microwave and I cannot imagine not having one. How do you heat up your leftover coffee? <laughs> how do you heat up your cold coffee? You know, so I have a microwave. That's something I've had for years and years and years. But I hear of some people that say they don't have a microwave. So, uh, how many of you have the ninja or the bullet? And it's one of those things that you can puree. Um, and make smoothies with, or you can make shakes with, or soups, or whatever. I do not have one. I bought a, like, knockoff one from Target for $20, and you get what you pay for. I thought it was going to be great, but then not so much. But uh, one of the pharmacists that works at our pharmacy, he made smoothies all the time that he brought to work with him. Every morning, he'd have these smoothies. And he said he had the Ninja Bullet, and it was like three or $400 for his that he had, but he said it was amazing. But then he was a pharmacist, and he makes a lot more money than me. <laughs> so I do not own that. Okay, now we're going to start with the ones that um, Dawn had listed on her video. The first thing was a big screen TV and she put, no, she didn't have one. Uh, we have one, I don't know, we don't even consider them big screen TVs anymore, just flat screen TVs, flat TVs. And I don't know how big ours is, I don't know, 50 inches or something. I don't know really, it's a bigger one. Um, and But we only have one TV in the house. So, you know, some people have TVs in every room and smaller ones in the, the bedrooms. I'd like to have one in our bedroom, but at this time, we do not have one. Uh, an air fryer. I do not possess an air fryer. I had one, and I I was given it to uh, as a gift for Christmas from my next-door neighbor at the time, and um, I never took it out of the box. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to read all about that, and I don't have time for that. And so I gave it to our niece. And it was brand new. It was still sealed up in the box. I gave it to her. Now I see everybody raving about them. Sometimes I'm like, dang, maybe I should get one. But, you know, honestly, I don't have room for another gadget in my house. So I don't have one. Um, an Instapot. <clears throat> well, my um, boss gave me an uh, Instapot for Christmas two years ago. <laughs> and I still have not opened the box up. It... Um, it sets kind of like a shelf, you know, and I've got uh, the cat's bowls on there and stuff. <laughs> so I have an Instapot. I've never used it. I've had it for almost two years. Okay, uh, the next one that, because yeah, Dawn had put that she did not have an air fryer and Instapot either. The third, uh, the next thing that Dawn said was a KitchenAid mixer. Well, you all know, if you watch my videos, you know I have a KitchenAid mixer because, um, I use it all the time. I didn't have one for years and years and years. And I wanted one so bad. And they were so expensive. And one day my daughter-in-law had a used one that her mother gave her. And she gave it to me. And I used it. And I was hooked. I used it all the time. And when it finally died, my husband bought me another one. And because I bake so much. And then for a while I was baking as a side job and selling it. I burned that one up in about five years, and so then he bought me another one. So I have the one I have now I've had for about five years, and I love it. I can't imagine life without my kitchen. It, you know, it Agnes, Agnes, I love her. Okay, uh, the next thing Dawn had put was a Roomba, which is one of those vacuums that goes around and vacuums your house. You know, my oldest son has one, and he has it programmed for every morning to go on. And every morning it goes on when I spent the night there and it gets stuck in a corner here or it gets stuck in a corner there. And um, so I'm like, you know what? It's just as easy to just vacuum. 
And my house has so many nooks and crannies and stuff around. I just rather vacuum. So I do not have one. Um, the next thing she put was gaming equipment. We do not have one stitch of gaming equipment in this house. Uh, probably because it's just me and my husband. So we don't have any of that. When my kids were growing up, there was um, Xbox and Nintendo. And um, the older two liked it better than the younger two. They played with it a little bit, but honestly, they just would like to go outside more than they like to play with the gaming equipment. And my co-worker with the four computers and the Cricut, that's the brand new one, they have all kinds of gaming stuff. And I know one of my best friends from high school, her son is 19, and they have all kinds of gaming. Nothing like what the Nintendo used to be, just, you know, hook up to the TV and play a game. Now they've got headsets, and they can play online with other people and other towns and countries and states. And, um, yeah, we don't have any of that. Uh, the next thing was plants, and Dawn said she didn't have any plants. I told her, oh, no, get a plant or five. <laughs> so I do have plants. I go in phases with them where I want more, <clears throat> but our house really does not have a lot of great lighting in here. So I have 10 plants. I would say I have one, two, three, four healthy plants, and the rest of them are just struggling to keep alive. But I do have 10 plants. Um, next one was an iron and an ironing board. I do. I do have both of that. I don't use it often, but I do have it. And I think originally why I bought it, I had thrown mine away or something. My oldest granddaughter came over and we were doing some kind of a crafting project and we needed an iron. So I ran to town to the hardware store and bought an iron. And then a few later years later, my youngest son came over and... Uh, we were going somewhere and he wanted to iron a shirt. I didn't have an ironing board. So back to the hardware store and I got an ironing shirt, uh, ironing board. So I do possess those items. I just don't use them a lot. Um, next thing on our list was a watch. She says she does not own a watch. You know, I started to think about it. I used to wear a watch all the time. And now I guess I just use my phone. I haven't worn a watch in years. I have a few old ones in my drawer, my dresser drawer, but none of them will work. Their batteries are all dead in them. So I'm going to say, realistically, I don't have a watch. Jewelry, she put on there. I have tons of jewelry. I love jewelry. I, uh, I'm i more of a costume des costume jewelry. It does not have to be super expensive jewelry. I have some expensive jewelry. I hardly ever wear it. It's locked up in the safe. Can't get to it. Um, but I have lots of costume jewelry, and I love it. Love, love, love it. I don't wear it often, but I do love it. A bread maker. I've never had a bread maker. Never had the desire to have a bread maker. Probably will never own a bread maker. But uh, it was on her list, so I thought, okay, I'll take it. So, nope, no bread maker for me. Um, a stereo. We have two stereos. We have one out in the shop. My husband loves to have his stereo on with his crazy hard rock music that he likes to listen to when he's working out in the shop. So he can have all he wants out there. I don't care. I don't like hard rock, but he does. And that's what he listens to out there in his shop. I have another stereo in the, uh, I call it the grandkids bedroom. And it's mainly, it's just a small one. I think I got it for $100. Uh, it's got small speakers. Um, and I basically got that because when my grandkids come over to sleep the night, they like, um, they call it white noise now, but they like background lullaby music or uh, water running or birds chirping they like that background music and they sleep to it so i do have two stereos exercise equipment um i have a lot of weights i have a lot of uh, workout videos i used to have a bench and all that kind of stuff but not anymore it takes up a lot of room and i'll just go for a walk or do my workout tape so that's all that we have for that a dvd player or a blu-ray player we do. We have a DVD player that's hooked up. And then the other day, Mary Salvato um, sent me a movie, but it was on a Blu-ray player. 
So I asked my husband, can we play this on the DVD? We didn't have a clue. So he called his son-in-law who said, no, you have to get a Blu-ray player for that. Um, and your Blu-ray player will play your regular DVDs, but your DVD player will not play your Blu-rays. So now we have a Blu-ray player because my husband got one that same day, but we don't have it hooked up, but we have it. <laughs> and the last one is a Keurig coffee machine. Let me tell you, I had one and um, my boss actually gave me that for Christmas a few years ago too. Um, every year he and his wife, they own two pharmacies. She runs one, he runs one, and they get all of us the same thing. Uh, they have a Christmas party and then they get us all the same thing. So uh, they got us Curex one year. I was all excited about it. I was so excited about it. And then um, after I used it for a while, I'm like, well, what if I just want to top off my coffee a little bit, you know, not make a, a whole nother Keurig, but I just want to top my coffee off. So I went back to just, I have a little tiny coffee pot, little, I think it has four cups in there and that's what I like and that's what I have. So those are the fun questions about common items in a household and do you own them or not? Inspired by Dawn at Sensible Living with Money Mom. I did adjust it uh, for my likings. But anyways, if any of you guys would like to play along, I don't think I'm gonna write all this stuff in the description box. That's a lot of work, you guys. <laughs> I think you can just watch the video and write it down like I had to do for, um, <laughs> for Dawn. She didn't put it in her description box, but I just went back through and wrote them down. But I don't know, maybe if I have extra energy, I'll put them in the description box. So check it and see. So, all right, you guys, this was fun. Have a great day. Take care and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.